Now, growing your own fruit and veg may be more effort than running into the supermarket, but the results are very rewarding. Gardening expert Pora Corkin is here to get us, get us started. And we're talking about the veggie pod. We sure are, the veggie pod. So this is a self-contained growing unit. It's on a stand. It actually holds its own reservoir of water. So this particular unit is holding 34 litres of water, which will actually wow. water the unit for up to three weeks. So you can go off on your holidays after planting it. Because that is annoying. You've put all this effort in, you're gone, and then you come back to little yeah. shriveled up plants. So, so it's, it's self-watering, effectively. It's self-watering. It, it's ideal, Karen, for growing a whole wide range of edible plants. There's a foot of growing depth in it. I've planted it with herbs, so the lovely rosemary and parsley and thyme for Easter. We've also planted up with beautiful strawberries, some garden peas, so you can use the peas, both the, the leaves and the actual the pods. We're going to plant it with tomatoes. We can also plant in some salad crops, then like lettuce plants, onions, carrots, all oh, the edible plants. Oh, show us then. Okay. So can you do, so what thrives in something like, like this then? What have you well, got the best chances well, all, of getting lovely fresh All from? edible plants, what I would recommend is that you plant plants that you're going to use on a regular basis. So all your salad, things like radish, some of the lettuce leaves are perfect for it. Carrots, short stem carrots are perfect. I've planted in the peas. This is little Laurasa red lettuce, oh, yeah. which is going to be lovely. It'll actually be ready for harvesting within four weeks once we plant it into the veggie pod. And, and would you plant everything all at the same time initially when yes. you first get it? Plant your entire container up okay. and then water it heavily. Now I've used an organic based compost here, the, Bor the Bordenamona Growwise organic based compost. The unit itself, all the materials are food safe. So if you're really interested in growing organic vegetables, the veggie pot is, is a perfect solution. The other unique thing, Karen, which I love, is the cover sits down like that. So this will actually keep the bugs out. Ah. The caterpillars, the green fly, the slugs cannot penetrate in through the micro fleece. And the fleece creates a micro environment where the plants will grow 50% faster. So wow. I, would, I would plant it up, water it well, and then leave it for three to four weeks. There's no need to go near the unit. The water itself will continue to water the plants. The cover will create that microclimate. A day like today, it'll keep it really warm. It'll encourage the plants into growth. And within three to four weeks, you're going to be ready to harvest your first um, salad plants. So things like the lettuce will be ready for trimming then, the, the pea leaves. Strawberries will take about another six to eight weeks. The flower buds are just coming on them. So they'll produce their fruit any time from the end of May, June onwards. So it's a really simple unit. It comes in three different sizes, okay. suitable for balconies, patios. Is it? That was going to be my question. It's is this wheels. sort of storm proof? It's like how safe absolutely. is this going to be? And you've brakes on the wheels and things. There's brakes on the wheels. So this, this is the medium size, so it's on wheels. You can get it without the wheels as well. But the wheels are great because you can move it around, particularly for schools. It'd be a brilliant project for children in schools. Um, but also if you've got a patio or a balcony or a patio area outside, sit it out in a sunny area, close down the lid. And hey, presto, where you go? Boom. Tell us exactly what you've put in again. Remind us. So you have so, in there from left to right. So I'm, I'm growing rosemary. I have a Lovely. nice range of rosemary. I have parsley and thyme. But any garden herb is suitable. Oregano, marjoram, any of the, the popular chives will be perfect. I have a row of strawberries, so that's going to give us pounds of fruit during the summer pounds period. Pounds of fruit? How pounds. long will your strawberries take? A month as well? Yeah, no, it's going to take about six weeks to eight okay. weeks for, this, for the strawberries. Okay. So we're looking at kind of the end of May, early June for them to, to fruit. But the flowers will be coming on. The children will love those. Yeah. These are the sugar snap peas, so they're really sweet. You can eat, you can actually eat the shoots of peas, but you can also eat the pods then when they form. Tomatoes would be perfect. There's a great variety, this one here called Red Profusion, which literally produces a profusion of fruit right throughout the summer. So you could pop one of those in. Um, pork, in terms of this time of year, and this is where my, myself and my husband go wrong, we've fantastic attention, uh, intentions, but we end up doing things too late into the summer to get okay. the benefit of planting. So for these next, this next week, these next couple of weeks, what should we be doing well, in our gardens? Really, if, if you're interested in growing your five a day, this is the time of year to start planting. So all of the tomatoes, the herbs, the salad crops, they should be planted now, either in the open ground or planted in a container like this. It's also the time of year to feed your lawn. Okay. So many lawns, people have cut them at this time of year year but many of them are showing a lot of moss a lot of weeds so now is the time to control the weeds and moss so put on something like the zero liquid lawn treatment you'll find that very effective it kills the moss overnight it'll green up the lawn as well and also put on a feed like the osmo feed which again gives a lovely rich green color to your lawn 
we're into the time of the year for planting colour. Mm -hmm. So think about Easter. Easter is going to be coming up in four or five weeks' time. So if you want a bit of colour in window boxes, patio containers, all the pansies, the primulas, all of those can be planted at this time of year for a bit of colour. Later Lovely. on in late spring, early summer, prune your roses. They prune need to be roses. cut back okay. now. Put a feed on them and that'll help them into growth and start putting on a little bit of application like the rose clear to keep them clean of any bugs or um, diseases that might, might come about. It's also the time of year for planting climbing plants. So if you want a bit of color on your trellis, sweet pea, for example, as a cut flower, it's a perfect time to plant that out in the garden. If you want something maybe for cut flowers mm. during the summer, something to cut for the home like dahlias or canna lilies or scented lilies, again, this is the time they're available in garden centres as bulbs or plants. Put them, plant them out of doors now and they'll come into growth and come into flower then in June and July. So gardening is all about that forward planning. Yes. What we plant or sow now, we'll harvest in or, or have in colour later on in May and June of this year. And of course, the sowing of seeds, all flower seed and vegetable seeds are planted at this time of year in okay. late March, early April. OK, I'm a mum, two young boys, three and four, like getting their fingers dirty, but something easy. What can I do? Well, this is this is a perfect project, a weekend project for you, particularly for children, because remember, the kids, this unit is going to be at waist or, or chest high for them. It's perfect. It's clean material. You're using compost. So it's very clean to use. They're growing their five a day, like the strawberries, like the peas. I think the child that grows that grows a strawberry eats a strawberry. Yeah, it's kind of true. So if you get them interested in growing, they'll actually you know, it's something, it's a, it's a habit that'll get into. And where into. can people find out more about it? Where can they get their hands on it? Well, we, the, the unit is available on horkins.ie. We mm -hmm. also have a, a special competition for the schools. So we're giving away one of the large veggie pods uh, over the next week here on Ireland AM. Super. So people just go to our webpage, horkins.ie, enter the form there. You can nominate your school so parents and children can get involved and nominate good your one. school. Okay. And I'll actually go out to the school oh, and plant the unit for them Super. with the children. Excellent. I'm really looking forward Borg, to it. That'd be a great opportunity. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us Thanks, in this Karen. lovely sunshine. All right, coming up after the break, we will have some more date night styles over on the catwalk for the boys. We'll see you very soon. <laughs>